Newcastle boss Steve Bruce's future remains in doubt after Sunday's Premier League defeat by Tottenham. Newcastle shareholder Amanda Staveley's main priority remains sacking boss Steve Bruce, according to reports. There were strong suggestions that Bruce would be dismissed in the immediate aftermath of the eye-watering £305 million takeover on October 7. However, the 60-year-old was in charge for Sunday's Premier League clash with Tottenham and has hit out at how the media has reported on his future. A 3-2 defeat by Spurs has hardly helped his cause, though, and rumours about a potential sacking have intensified this week. Newcastle, who remain without a win this term, went ahead against the North Londoners inside three minutes but capitulated at St. James Park. Tangai and Dombele, Harry Kane and Sun Hung Min all scored to push Bruce closer to the exit door. An Eric Dier own goal was not enough to force a draw. Supporters remained at the end to call for the former Manchester United defender to be sacked, which could prompt Newcastle's owners into a decision. And it has emerged that Staveley, who was crucial in brokering the purchase of the club from Mike Ashley, is still prioritising sacking the unpopular coach, who fans view as a symbol of the controversial Ashley era. According to the Daily Mail, the 48-year-old businesswoman will cut ties with Bruce but the correct processes must first take place. That includes getting sign-off from the club's new majority shareholder, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, PIF. There was allegedly some concern within the new consortium, which is controversially 80% backed by PIF, that Bruce remained in charge for the clash with Spurs.